Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back. And the people have spoken. We've decided to uh, try out some other games. So starting, I guess, we're going to try Gold Rush. Now, the reason I even got this uh, is because I really want to try out this Minotaur excavator thingy over here. Uh, I do really want to do some excavating. Uh, I have heard it's actually not so bad, but uh, I haven't actually played this enough, so... I think we're just gonna I think we're just gonna jump right into it here and, and see what we can do. Alright, so here we are. Uh my truck's a little stuck here. Uh environment's kinda different looking, I guess. Frozen kinda arctic. Oh look, logs! Oh my god! Can we cut them? I wanna cut the logs. Uh, I guess not. Um so I don't know what my truck's doing here. Uh maybe we'll give it a try here and see if we can make it move. Drive, truck! Drive! That's not moving. I don't know what's going- Oh, the handbrake is on. Uh, even with the handbrake, it's still pretty stuck. Uh, alright, so that's the truck. Great product. Now this is what I actually want to see. Can we actually get in this thing? Oh my god, if I can get in this thing, I'm gonna be so excited. Oh, uh, you didn't see that. Oh my god, yes! Oh! We get our... No, we don't need that. Okay, here we are. Now, what am I doing here? Uh, I am very confused, so that's normal. Okay, so it's not going... It's not running. I keep trying to hit enter because I keep thinking like, Oh, this is Farming Simulator. And I'm like, wait, no dog, this isn't Farming Simulator. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Z. I think it was Z I pushed. Okay, so now it's on. I'm going to go to kind of an outside view. Let there be life! Come on, buddy! Uh, alright. Oh, I don't really like that. It's got like a weird, uh, thing in front of the bucket. I wonder if we can turn that off. Uh, 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 maybe... Actually, we should check our controls here, too, while we're here. i turn that down. My sensitivity is, like, through the roof right now. Uh, okay. That's, that's a little better. It's still pretty fast, though. I don't like that thing in front of my bucket, though. What is that? Is that to show you what direction you're going? Like, maybe that means that's the front. Oh my god, I hope that doesn't stay there. I wonder if I can get rid of that. That's- that's annoying. What is that? Or maybe it's just- maybe it's a directional thing or something. Uh, okay. I just gotta figure out my controls here. Okay, so that turns me left and right. Oh, it's for the bucket! It's to tell you where the bucket is. That makes sense, I get ya. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to set my controls. Uh, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Joy to key and I'm gonna set them with my joystick. Cause there's no way in hell I'll be able to use this with my keyboard. So, uh, I'm gonna set those and I'll be right back. Alright, so we got our controls all set up now to our joystick. Uh, and now we're gonna do some excavating. Uh, okay. Do a little scoopy doop here. Uh... Oh, okay. All right. Let's get right, right in here. <laughs> okay, so it's definitely it's definitely not perfect excavating, but you know it's uh it's all right. The controls feel a little wonky just because I'm using Joy to key right now, so the uh, the controls. Oh, what's going on here? I don't like that. Uh, anyway, yeah, sorry, I'm using Joy to key, so the uh, the controls are not like nice and like hydraulicy feeling. They're really rigid. See if I can grab the... No, I didn't think so. I was trying to see if I could grab, like, a chunk out of the ground. Come here! Come to me, my pretty! No. Not happening. Oh, well. I guess we just keep digging away here. Uh, let's try... Okay, let's try something. So if I just lightly... Oh, that wasn't too bad. It kind of scooped up a lot more than I thought it would, but... Let's try, uh... Let's try this again here. Okay, just a little... Just a little light scoop. No. It's weird, okay, so when I pull, like, when I go to pull the bucket in, you know, like in a real machine where you just kind of rip the ground up, it's like, it fills up and then it's full and it stops, it becomes like a solid physic. So like when I pull it, here, let's get rid of this. Go over there where you belong. Yeah, okay, so when I go to reach, like I do a big scoop, and then it's hard, and I can't move it. Duke, duke, duke. What if I, what if I like smash it into the ground? No. Well, I'm just gonna build a, uh, mountain over here, I guess. What about this stuff? Can I cut into this? 
Oh yeah, look at that hole. Look at that hole I made. Look at that. Oh yeah, let's just get all over. Oh, I see. See, now what they, oh. Well, I guess, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find like a, a happy medium here. What they should have done is made it so that that uh, edge is a little bit more active. Man, if I could mod this game. <laughs> all right, boys, getting out the modding tools to make the world's greatest excavator game. Yeah, see, like, that's the problem. It's almost like, um, Construction Simulator was like that. They probably used the same, I bet you they used the same, uh, like, system as Construction Simulator. Because it was the same thing, as soon as the bucket filled up, it would, uh, it would become like a solid object and hit the ground. Now, if anybody's ever watched an excavator or run a real excavator, you know that it doesn't, once the bucket's full, it doesn't plow into the ground and stop solid. That's just not how it works. It's dark. I'm, I'm kind of mad that they didn't think about that or try to work that mechanic. But they probably tried to make it easy. Obviously, they didn't expect someone with two joysticks to be coming in on this game and be like, Hey, uh, yeah, it has to be completely realistic. They probably are people working with, like, an Xbox controller or people using, like, a mouse and keyboard. They wanted it to be, like, you know, super easy for them or something like that. I'm, I'm not really sure what they were going for, but... Like, the, the idea is there, and I mean, this game looks, like, it looks really good. I really like the look of the inside of the cab. It's all rustic and beaten up. But, um, the terraforming of the ground as we're ripping here is a little, it's a little weak. Now, like I said, I, I got this game for free, uh, from the, the developer. They sent me a copy to, uh, try out and give a little review to. Um, I honestly, like, I don't care about anything except for running equipment. That's pretty much, well, you guys know me, I'm Simulator City here, so, um, obviously it's not a logging game, but I do have an appreciation for, like, you know, heavy equipment games, and this, this is, this is fun. Uh, I mean, it'd be cool if they incorporated logging somehow and tried to, like, make that work. Obviously this isn't logging, it's a mining game, but, uh, I don't know, it's just... Like, it feels like it's so close. Like, the ground looks cool. Like, that's... It looks way better than Farming Simulator. I mean, one, you can actually manipulate the ground in this, but... Um, it just It's just not quite there, you know? We're just... We're missing that digging mechanic. It should be able to keep going. I should be able to just rip up that ground and pull it towards me. I shouldn't... Uh, it shouldn't stop dead when the bucket's full. See, like, boom. See, I hit that wall? Yeah, that's no good. Just not not quite what uh, what I was hoping for, but oh well. Let's uh, let's maybe drive around a little bit and see here. Should I drive? I kind of want to drive over this hole, but I don't know if it'll get stuck. Maybe let's not do that. Let's go out here and uh, see. All right, let's try to drive over this little mound here. I want to test out the physics of this uh, tracks. Okay, all right. Kinda, something's happening here. Well, it's, uh, it's alright, I guess. Probably have better suspension than my, uh, than my machines do. <laughs> but the detail on this thing is awesome. Like, we gotta make one of these. I really like this thing. Alright. Let's see if it picks it. Oh yeah, look at this. Frickin' high speed machine downhill. Look at that. I don't know what speed we're going, I have no idea. So, obviously this is a mining game, so we're in like a mining uh, camp by the looks of it. Uh, it. Looks like we got some snow stuff going on. Now, what is this I'm driving through? Is this like rock or is it wood? Maybe it's wood or something. Can we dig it? Let's try digging this. Uh, no. No, you can't dig that. So that must be like undiggable stuff. What about this stuff right here, like this ground? Oh, no, I guess you can't dig that either. Oh, but you can dig this. You can dig, I guess, where it's brown. Oh, so I wonder if that's, like, where the ground's frozen. You can't dig there or something. I don't know. I have no idea. That'd be pretty cool. That's almost like seasons where you can't, like, plow because the ground's, uh, you know, frozen. Well, maybe... Maybe... Maybe we'll just go back over here. I mean, if I can't do any digging over here, there's no point in coming over this way with this thing. So maybe I'll just back out and go the other way. Well, at least you <laughs> don't expect a review of the full game here because I'm literally just here for the excavator. This is an excavator uh, review of this thing and how it reacts. I might jump in that dump truck though. That thing looks pretty fun too. Let's see if we can get this thing up the hill nice and slow. 
I wish the tracks had a little bit better sound. That'd be cool. Like, you know, like a real machine sounds. This thing's pretty quiet. All right, so we got a couple different views we can work with here. Maybe we'll try it. Should we try a different view? Mm, let's just get let's get this thing in a position here first. All right. Okay, let's just test this to see if we can actually scoop it. Oh, see, like, that's annoying. God, I hate that. Like, I like the look of this game. It, even the feel of the machine isn't too, too bad, even with, like, the wonky controls. But, um, yeah, the digging. Oh, here, let's try, let's try, uh, like a, yeah, let's try this. Oh, this feels so weird. <laughs> ah! I don't know if I like this. I don't think it makes me a better operator, to be honest. All right, okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Put it in the machine. Drop it. Oh man, see that's like uh, farming simulator-esque right there. Look at it, the way it fills up the back of that. Now it feels like I am playing farming simulator. All right, line it up, drop it in, drop it in. Boom, got it. At least good. So, I, I don't know, it's, uh, it's kind of a weird Kind of a weird style the way they got set up here. Oh my god, this view is gonna make me motion sick. Who's gonna get motion sick first? This guy. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to get used to the like the controls are similar to that of an extra. You know what I really do like the details. Like look at this red hose when I go in for a scoop. Watch as I watch as I uh like when I come up for the scoop and I tilt it. See that? See that hose? Look at it go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That hose, that red hose pulls in and out as I do that. That's so cool. Same with the bucket tipping like on the end there, like all the hydraulics and stuff. I'll tell you guys, when I get into Farming Simulator 19, all this stuff is going to be like number one priority when I build machines. I want every hydraulic working. I want all the little details because gone are the days of doing things half-assed. We're going to do an excellent job. I'm excited. But enough about a game that we're not playing. Let's talk about Gold Rush. So I know, like, I don't know how many of you watch the Gold Rush series. I know my parents were obsessed with it. I even got really kind of hooked on it for a while when it first started. Just because it's kind of up in our area or pretty close to where our area is. So, um, you know, it's neat to see that kind of stuff for sure. Well, let's try this view. I haven't tried this one yet. Oh, this view is even more uncomfortable. Oh, you get a, you get a better view. And you guys are able to see the bucket working in full action. But anyway, uh, Gold Rush, yeah, so well, I watched Gold Rush for a really long time. The fact that they made a video game, I don't know, I think that's kind of crazy, but I mean, any, any way to get an extra source of revenue, I guess, but um, yeah, this is, this is kind of neat. A little bit of clipping stuff there, but you know, as a modder, I have literally uh, a lot less judgment because I know how hard it is to get physics engines for games and stuff working. I mean... It's it's the detail, I think, that's the, the devil's in the details, right? You know what? I'm actually going to see... I wonder if I can hop in this... Uh, is this thing drivable? Oh, yes, it is. I've always wanted to drive... No, I haven't always wanted to drive one of these, but we're going to drive one of these, and it'll be fun. All right, so... It's going... Oh, my handbrake. I always forget the stupid handbrake. Oh, man, this thing can track pretty good. Look at it go. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Man. All right, guys, I think we're gonna have to build one of these, too. I like this. Oh, yeah, this is fun. Look at this thing. Oh, 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 the thing goes up. I was, like, pushing all the buttons. The, uh, the back goes up so you can dump it. Oh, man, I like this. Okay, let's, let's see if we can fill this hole in, maybe. Oop, a little wonky there. What am I on? Is this, like, liquid water or something? Whatever. Let's, let's dump it right here. We'll start at the back and work our way up. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Oh. There we go. We unloaded it all. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh. Whoops. Okay. Sorry, I pushed the wrong button. Uh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Put her in four there, bud. What am I? What am I? Am I caught on something? What am I caught on? My back tires aren't even turning. Uh, let's see here. Let's check something real quick. There's got to be a control for a control for this. Where's the control? 
Oh, there you go, another turning. Oh, no, they're not turning. Oh no, boys, I'm stuck. But what am I stuck on? Like, I don't get it. My front left tire's off the ground, it's not doing nothing. Like... Oh, those back ones are turning on this side. Uh... What the heck am I stuck on? This makes, like, literally no sense right now. Can I, can I, like, wiggle, can I wiggle my way out of it? If I just wiggle back and forth. Oh, hey, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, come on, come on. Come on, you piece of crap. <laughs> it feels like I'm almost out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, nope, nope, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, uh, God. Like, what is happening? All right. As a modder, I'm going to be very judgmental about this. What is wrong with this thing? This is ridiculous. All right. I got to get out and take a look. Something's not right here. All right. So, what are we hung up on? Is it the mud? No. No. Is there something, like, in between? Is there a rock? I see, like, nothing. There shouldn't be anything stopping this right now from moving. I'm... I think I'm just gonna say, screw it. Like, what's the point? I don't know. You know what? I, maybe I should get something to push it out with. Whoa, look at this. Look, trees. Oh. Can I not go into the bush? Uh... Okay. So there's some kind of, like, physics wall there. Let's see, let's get in this thing. Yeah, go for a little walksy walk. Alright. Oh, oop, oh, oop. Come on, man, what's going on here? Turn. Turn, you know you want to. Oh, I see. If you just push, like, left or right on your keyboard, It'll actually, like, just start turning the machine automatically. You don't have to, like... Like, you know, farming simulator, you have to push forward and right. This actually turns on the dime. Okay, so there's something over here in this bush, and I can't figure it out. So let's see if we can knock one of these trees down. Oh. Uh... Okay. So there's collision wall... <laughs> there's collision walls in the bush, so you can't go logging. See, I'm hitting... I'm hitting collision walls. I'm not hitting trees. Uh... Okay, then. All right. Just, yeah, that's right there. Look, that's where I hit. Duke. There's a ghost that's just like, protect the forest. Don't destroy the trees. I'm casting a shield spell. All right. You know what? Uh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'll just dig a hole. That's, uh, that's kind of how I'm feeling. I'm feeling pretty hole diggy. I'm really admiring the detail in this cab, though. This is actually pretty sweet. Oh, we got lights! Look, look, look! I have lights. Well, that'll help, maybe. All right, let's uh, let's get to digging here. You know what? Later, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna dig a really deep hole. But what I'm gonna do in the video, uh, like later on, I think I'm just gonna time lapse it so that's like a super fast thing. Cause I don't want to. I don't know what to even talk about while I dig a hole for however long it's gonna take me to dig this. I might even give up. You never know. But, uh, okay, well, I'm going to time lapse it, I think, uh, for this part, so. All right, I think I'm I think I'm getting near the end of this hole. Like I said, I think I'll I think I'll time lapse um, that because that, that actually took that took a lot longer than I was expecting. I just want to get I just want to get these final scoops down the bottom. I know there's gold down there. 
Nah, I'm giving up. No more. That was a deep hole. And I think is my, uh, I think, it, well, you know what? That's a pretty deep hole for, for this game and for that crappy little bucket. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that. It took a minute though, didn't it? Holy cow. Look at that bucket. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> you know what I really want to do? I want to drive right into this friggin' hole. Let's drive right in there. Let's test out the physics of this game. Let's just line it up just right. And we're going to take you for a wild ride into the hole. Oh, man. All right. Well, that's uh, that's something, isn't it? Oh, come on. You can do it. Come on. Okay. Uh, oh, I have a map, apparently. Well, that's, that's always good. Come on, you, you suck. I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to actually lift myself back out of the hole with the hydraulics of the machine. But this gutless piece of crap will not even, like even when I open my bucket, push with my boom, push everything. I can't make it, I can't make it go back. Oh, I think I saw through the ground a little bit there. Uh, all right. What if I turn? Uh, no. Left, right. Oh, right. No. Oh yeah, right. There you go. See, I'm turning the chassis here. Uh, dig yourself a little deeper, friend. Come on, man. I just want to get in the hole. Or out of the hole. Uh, maybe if I really squirm it around here. Squirm, squirm, squirm. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting stuck for sure. This is going to turn into like spin tires in about two minutes. Oh, actually, I have a lot of room there. Look at that. I wonder if I can... No, I don't know. What if I like wiggle it? Wait. Oh, there we go. There we... There we go. Ah, you know what? I think I'm... I think I'm good enough in this hole. I mean... Oh, well. Maybe I can move it a little bit more. There we go. Now we're set. And that... Boys and girls is how you get an excavator into a very shallow grave that you dug for itself. I'm out though. I don't want to do that anymore. You are the weakest link. Not bad though, right? Hey, come on, check that out. I think we did good. I think we did good. Minotaur in the hole. That's uh <laughs> that's what's going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, gold rush. Just kidding. Okay, let's go look at some other things. I want to at least say I looked at some of the other stuff in this game. Uh, I don't necessarily have much interest in actually playing, mining, and building my own base. So this must be like the freeform level, because it looks like I have like everything already. Because I remember a bunch of reviews of it, and people, like they had to like build their own stuff, and buy equipment, and trek it out to the site. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, you can actually like man- oh, oops. Broke that. You can manually hook it up, eh? Oh, that's cool. The real question is, can I set up sentry guns to fight the aliens? Uh, okay, what's this? So, water. It's a big old tube. Some tubes and some rolly things. Oh, this is like a sleuth uh, system for, like, uh, refining and filtering materials. My stepdad's actually a... Uh, he does this for a living. Like, he's a uh, mineral guy, mining guy. He runs, like, big camps and stuff like this. Um, but yeah, he, he'd probably know what every little thing on here was. He probably even owned some of this stuff, so. Mining. Is that a nice fire to sit by? Stories. I'll tell you a story. When I was just a young lad. Oh my god, that's a, is that a pumpkin? That looked like a pumpkin. Uh, when I was just a young boy, I lit myself on fire while trying to tell a story next to... Oh, look, at, they got actually pretty nice smoke effects and stuff. Oh. Yeah. I don't know about this pumpkin. Excuse me, sir. Do you know how to operate an excavator? No? All right. Well, it was a pleasure. Oh, look at this thing. What is this? Oh, this is the pump. Oh, this is just like when I used to work in the bush. We used to have uh, these things for running, uh, running water to the uh, drill. We used to have a big vat. We'd run it down to a creek, turf it in there, and then pump water all the way back from the pump 
And then the pump would actually then push the water out. Uh, oh, you turn it on. Start. And it push all the water back to the drill. In this case, we're not drilling. We're running a different kind of box. Hey, look. Well, what happens if you pull it? Oh. Uh, there you, I was going to say what happens when you pull it out, but I guess it just sprinkles water out of there. Sprinkles. That's my new term for sprinkly water that's also prickly. Sprinkle. All right, uh, so these are all water lines. Oh, look at this thing, look in here. That must be the tumbler that rolls and like separates the gold and filters out the chunks or the smaller chunks or refinement. I don't know, I'm not a professional miner. I don't know anything about this. But this is my guess, that this thing processes the heavy material into finer material, which is then panable or filterable to get gold out of it. And this is a floodlight. In my professional opinion, it is used for lighting areas <laughs> similar to other floodlights. Right on. Pretty detailed, though. I mean, look, I like all the little connections and stuff. Like, they did a really good job with that. What is this? What are you? Is it, uh, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. That looks actually pretty good. All kinds of stuff in here and over there. In. In, okay. So everything goes in there, goes in there, and out there. Ah, see, out. And look at the detail even on this bar. Like the nice bump mapping makes it all look all rigidy. Huh. Yeah, you know what? Good job to the guys that did the texturing on this game. If anything, those guys should be given the big reward. When it comes down to functionality, maybe those guys get like the, you know, bronze award, because the functionality in that excavator, not super impressed. So what we got here? Mining site. What do we need in a mining site? We need a bathroom. A place to go poop is very important for a mining community. If you cannot poop, you will not have a good time. Remember that. Very important mining rule. Uh, what do we got over here? So we got like a... Looks like a little equipment shack. Uh, put all your mining gear or whatever. And uh, oh, look at this big nice garage full of nothing. This looks like a good place to park that truck if I could ever actually get it out of that hole. Uh, what are these? Is that like a shadow? What is that? Uh, no? Black squares. Maybe it's broken material or something? Oh no, here's more. What is this? Oh my god, I hope these are- I wonder if these are supposed to be like tire tracks or something. Is there a shadow coming from somewhere? No? These are like tire tracks. Maybe they're like untextured mud. It's supposed to be like tire mud tracks, but maybe the texture got lost in translation because I don't think they're supposed to be black like that, are they? I don't know. I'm sure somebody out there will correct me. Oh, which path are we going to take? The road less traveled or the more traveled? Haines Town, Alaska. Well, let's not go that way. Whenever I see a sign that says go to Alaska, we go the opposite way. That's how that works. Well, what do we got out here? We have... Ooh, there's a cute little path. Let's follow the path. And there's a little loop around. Look, there's a tree. There's like a telephone pole. Little, little road thing. Oh. Oh, we're right here. Now I feel stupid. This is where we got stuck. Oh, I hate that thing. I hate that stuck thing over there. And this is where the LNG pipeline comes through. I'm surprised it's not surrounded by protesters yelling about the uh, fundamental... Difficulties of pushing oil through environmental areas. Moving on. <laughs> Let's not get into that. Um, more wood that I'm not allowed to do anything with. It's all processed in these nice piles. I wish I was the processor so I could actually come through. The grass is uh, pretty detailed. I can't go into the grass though. It's like a, there's like a collision wall stopping you from going there. It's probably to stop people from wandering around the map and getting lost. Can we go up the tower? Let's go check out the tower. Into the tower! Maybe I can get a sniper rifle and shoot the Germans from up here. Oh yeah, okay. It's actually quite pretty. Like, oh, the environment looks nice. But, uh, I think, I think that's it. You know what, I think I'm done with Gold Rush for now. Um, I might come back at it and look at, like, the excavating stuff or something like that, but... Um, as far as the game, I'm not really interested in the rest of it. I just really wanted to run that excavator, and I'm glad I got the chance. So, uh, if, yeah, if you guys get the chance, I mean, if you want to run an excavator, it's a little sketchy, but, you know, you can pick it up if you want uh, and try it out. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's Gold Rush. So, um, yeah, if you guys like the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. Thanks, guys.